time and I'm running late so I'm really hungry. I've been editing videos <laughs> and I took my walk. Uh, before I start making lunch, the first thing is first, we have to get our water. Okay, so while I make lunch, I will drink a cup of water. Alright, and this is going to be very simple, and I forgot to get a spoon. Okay, this is going to be very simple. Uh, I'm making two, uh, so I'm going to make one batch, and then I'll make another batch for my daughter. But uh, and instead of trying to tell you the nutritional value as I go along, I'm just going to put that at the end of the video, okay? It'll have uh, calories, uh, protein, fat, and carbs. Those are really the only thing I'm concerned with. If there's something worth mentioning, uh, you know, maybe like shrimp is high in cholesterol or... Uh, you know, something spinach, high in iron, something, you know, uh, out of the ordinary. Uh, I'll mention that, but otherwise, uh, those uh, things are the only thing I'm concerned with. So, first of all is your can of tuna. This is four ounces of tuna. And you would want to make sure that this is packed in water, uh, not the oil. And you want to drain that. And that way it won't have... Um, a bunch of water in it. So, okay. Now, there's our tuna. Normally, I put celery in here, but I'm out of celery, so I didn't do that today. Oh, I forget. Here. Uh, I'm going to put two tablespoons of onion. And yes, that's a lot of onion. Um, but remember, I'm trying to get vegetables in every meal, and a lot of them, um, because I have to cut back on my carbs to control my sugar and so I have to be careful which vegetables I eat but I need a lot of vegetables that way I don't get hungry okay so we have our tuna and our onion and I'm going to I'm not measuring these folks so you know to taste I'm gonna put just a little bit of ground pepper in it and this is peppercorn that you grind and same with my salt just a little bit of salt not much, and then I'm going to use um, garlic granules, not a whole lot, and then what I really like, and this I probably will use a lot, uh, parsley. Uh, I also like to use chives, uh, but I went to the grocery store the other day, and they didn't have um, chives I was willing to buy. Uh, Fresh is much better. Last year I didn't grow very many herbs, so I don't have fresh this year. Uh, but uh, spring and gardening is coming up, and so this year I will be growing my own herbs again. Uh, I've missed those dramatically. Okay, so we have that. Now I'm going to put just a smidge of mustard. Not a lot. I would say, oh... Probably half a teaspoon, not much, okay? And then here's the bad stuff. The ba oh, hang on, wait. Before, I need to get our wheat bread going. Okay, I'm just going to use my flat cast iron, and I have some canola oil to lightly spray. I don't want this to cook too fast, so I'm going to turn this down to low, that way it will toast. Okay, now, uh, here's the bad stuff. This has your fat, and it has your calories, and it's really not good for you. Uh, so, if an alternative that you can use, one, this is what I have, and when I run out of this, I will replace it with reduced fat mayonnaise. Uh, I do not like and I will not eat fat free so I won't use it. Uh, but I will switch over to reduced fat. Uh, 
even better for you if you like it would be a fat free Italian dressing you can mix in here uh, I, I, I like mayonnaise so uh, that's my little weakness for this meal so but I'm going to be careful and I'm only going to put one tablespoon it's not a whole lot okay and then you mix that And you know what? I bet I could have gone just a little under a tablespoon. I probably didn't have to have the whole tablespoon. So, you know, it's going to be according to your taste. You have to make alterations to where you see fit. And if you can eat the fat-free Italian dressing in here, that frees up your calories for something different. You know, maybe a slice of cheese. <laughs> but, okay, and then I'm going to take fresh spinach. Uh, baby spinach I like better. Uh, this is just, this is not the baby kind. This is just regular old spinach. But it is fresh. Let me check our toast. Alright, now. I am going to take my tuna, and I'm going to put it right there. there. All right, now let me make some for my daughter. Um, the same thing, we do quickly, we do quickly. She likes a little more mustard than I do, so I'm going to give her two teaspoons. Hers doesn't have to be measured as exactly as mine, but it's pretty close, except she has extra mustard. I'm just going to set hers out of the way. Hers will be served up just like mine. But for now, we just work on mine. Alright, now let me check the toast. Oh yes, that's almost done. Let that go. Probably, now I'm going to take sliced potato, or not potato, this red thing, tomato. Cut off the ends, and you know, I bought buy this from, there's a spider hanging down. I don't like spiders, guys. Okay, spider's gone. Alright, I'm going to slice the tomato, and I much prefer fresh tomato. And let me tell you something, I have tested this, and it's proven. I have done it time and time again. Uh, if you grow your own tomatoes, uh, if you're diabetic and if you're sensitive to tomatoes, they are high in carb and they will drive your sugar up. Uh, now I have found uh, from my experience and my experience only, if I eat a store-bought tomato, and it doesn't matter where I buy it, if I buy eat a store-bought tomato, it will drive my sugar up higher than if I eat uh, twice the tomato out of something I grew at home. I don't know why. I'm not saying anything other than that is my experience. 
Uh, now I am sensitive to tomatoes, so I'm not going to have too many of these. I let my daughter have my extra. So let's cut her some. Again, I'm sensitive to carrots, but they are healthy for you. So I'm going to have just a few carrots. And boy, that's not very appealing, is it? Here, let me slide this over to the center. Maybe this is more appealing if we divide the colors up, okay? There you go. Now you can have this on a piece of toast, just one piece of toast, um, or if you need more calories, you can have two. I can't have the extra carbs, so I'm only going to have one piece of to dry toast, or if you prefer, you can have, I think it's four saltines or five butter crackers, and I normally prefer butter crackers, uh, but today I'm going to have the wheat toast, whole wheat toast. All right, so that's our healthy lunch. I need to drink this and make another one so I can drink my fourth cup today with lunch. Thanks for watching, and until we speak again, God bless.